Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video for you that is all about hair and it is about a tragic story that happened to me just this last week. So I was on a lovely, lovely vacation with my husband and my family and actually our best friends and we were staying at a beautiful resort in Southern California and I have these hair extensions and actually so does my girlfriend. I put hair extensions in her head as well. And the water at the resort actually contained so many minerals and was so chlorinated that it literally turned my hair, my extension hair and her extension hair bright apricot orange. I mean, if I could describe the most neon orange you guys could ever imagine, it was that color. So it kind of snuck up on both of us. At first, I was kind of like, huh, my hair looks like it's a little bit apricot. And honestly, I don't wash my hair every single day, so it sort of really did sneak up on me because the second time that I washed my hair at the resort, I was drying it and I'm thinking, dang, and my own hair did not turn. So I ended up with neon orange extension hair and regular colored hair, hair. And so did my girlfriend. So of course I am, you know, like what the heck, I, I had a very good idea for what it was. So immediately what I thought it was, because of the color that it was turning my extensions, I was pretty sure that it was iron in the water. And what can happen a lot of times is depending on the water, where you are, you can have heavy minerals or it can be heavily chlorinated and those things can actually turn your hair's hair different colors. So typically if it's an orange, a red, um, a yellow, a bright yellow, it's iron. A lot of times if it's green or some other colors, it's different mineral, chlorine, that kind of stuff. So I was pretty sure that iron was the culprit. So I started to do a little bit of research on how to get rid of that. Now, on clients in the salon before, I have done chelating treatments, uh, clarifying treatments, that kind of thing, which are actually two different things. Um, but I would never had to do it on myself and certainly not while I was on vacation. I didn't have everything at my fingertips to fix the situation. So a little bit later in the trip when things became extremely dire, I did purchase some things that did not work. So today I'm going to share with you how I actually ended up, I want to show you, with my hair back to this is, a, as you can see, it all matches. In fact, I'll probably do one more treatment of what I'm gonna share with you. Um, but in general, especially because you guys are gonna see pictures, if you haven't already, of what color my hair was in California, uh, this is amazing. It's still a little bit warm, but that I can fix. When it is bright orange, that's really uh, disconcerting to say the least. So if you are searching for a way to get rid of that kind of thing, to neutralize it, chelate it, whatever, just keep watching. And if you are a stylist, you need this in your bag of tricks. I am serious because it is something that will be beneficial to some of your clients for sure. Because all of us have clients that live in varying places that certainly at some time are exposed to iron in the water and chlorine in the water. And hey, they could be somebody like me that just goes on vacation and comes back to you and says, oh my gosh, my hair, let me tell you how to fix it easily, inexpensively, and let me also tell you what not to waste your money on. So let's start with how to fix it. Okay, so the very simple, simple answer is you need lemon juice. You need lemon juice. This is simply Santa Cruz, organic lemon juice. I used almost all of it. You can see it's almost gone. I literally took this in the bath, you guys. When I got home, I, I lived with orange hair in Southern California for like five days. And when I got home, I uh, shampooed my hair and I sat in the bath and literally poured this in my hair. I took a lemon bath, people. I took a lemon bath. And I let it sit on my hair and soak and soak and about every five to 10 minutes, I would saturate my hair some more and I just watched my hair. And what happens is 
Lemon juice is ascorbic and citric acid. Ascorbic and citric acid actually will dissolve the minerals. It will chelate and trap them and then carry them off of your hair. So you are neutralizing that iron in your hair. And what I did notice too is that over the course of days after I washed and I came out with that orange hair, it was getting worse. I think that the sun actually does oxidize even more and intensify that color which is just honestly, it's the worst. And it's especially bad if you have clients or if you are someone who has hair extensions because it calls blaring attention to the hair on your head that is not yours and that is not good. Okay, so that is honestly how I got rid of it. I used this lemon juice. What did I do afterwards though so that my hair actually feels better than before? I went ahead immediately after I rinsed out all of the lemon juice, which took about 45 minutes. I mean, it took a while, but I was willing to sit until it was completely gone. And I was watching it um, fade and fade and fade and uh, like literally lifting my spirits because I was, you know, my hair was gonna be, I wasn't gonna have to switch out my extensions or anything like that. But I get done with that and I went ahead and I deep conditioned and I really, really like this deep conditioner, you guys. This is macadamia nut oil. This is the deep repair mask. I love this mask. It is so fabulous. I am going to do a um, deep conditioning uh, top five and this is definitely in that top five. I used this after I rinsed out the lemon juice because lemon juice um, is of course super acidic, so it's extremely low pH. So it can cause uh, dryness. So you really, really wanna go back in and rehydrate. So I did put this mask on. I did drain my whole bathtub because I didn't feel like sitting in lemon juice and started over with a mask on my hair and I let the mask sit for a good 10, 12 minutes. Okay, rinsed that off. When I got out of the bath, I uh, showered off and then I went ahead and I did do a leave-in conditioner and this is my all-time favorite leave-in conditioner and that is by Oplifica. You guys, this leave-in conditioner is, is seriously amazing. It is the Seaberry Moisture Cream uh, for medium to coarse hair. It is absolutely fabulous for hair extensions. It is wonderful for medium to coarse hair, of course. You kind of cannot have too heavy of a hand with it. You can use a lot and you won't overdo it, which is kind of nice. Um, but it just leaves your hair super silky and really, really hydrated. I absolutely love this product. Okay. Then I went in with the Oblifica, the Oblifica Seaberry Serum. This is the um, Seaberry Hair Serum for medium to coarse hair. And I used a bunch of this too. I absolutely love this as well. The whole Seaberry line from Oblifica is amazing. So really what I was trying to do is just give my hair back some moisture from the thing that I did in Southern California that did not work that I'm going to tell you about at the end of this video. And um, just from the lemon juice treatment, which I knew was going to be a little bit drying. I have to tell you guys that this hair feels like silk. I can't even explain the difference between this hair and the hair I had while I was in California. The thing about mineral deposits on your hair is they really do also make your hair feel very fragile and dry and brittle and then you top that off with the fact that they look orange and you don't want orange, I mean at all. And it just, it was terrible. It was terrible feeling hair, it was terrible looking hair, all of that. And so today I'm just so happy to report that that just chelating treatment of lemon juice, which is literally like, seriously guys, $6. It's amazing. I bought this at my local uh, grocery store. And so I really do think that this is a good one because it is pure lemon juice, not from concentrate. It's organic, which, you know, whatever about that part, but you want the pure, you want seriously concentrated regular old lemon juice, not, um, I looked at some of the little guys that look like lemons, that kind of thing, and a lot of them actually start with water and then they've got other stuff in there. I just wanted straight up lemon juice. So I really do like that one a lot. Now, I wanna tell you about what I did try that did not work because I really think it's important not to waste your time or your money and um, it's, kind of uh, depressing to try something and have it not work. And I think that it really did do a little bit of 
damage or sent me backwards as far as the integrity of my hair. And that was, I went out and bought this Redken. I don't know if you can see that. I bought this Redken hair, hair cleansing cream. Now, this says it's clarifying for all hair types. It does say it's got fruit acids, which is why I thought that maybe it would help. And it says, um, clarifies and helps remove mineral deposits and styling product buildup on all hair types. Formulated with fruit acids to add shine, it purifies refreshed hair, refreshes hair. And he says you can leave it on for five to, to 10 minutes. It absolutely did nothing. I mean, nothing, you guys. It didn't take a single ounce of the orange out. It um, left my hair extremely dry and just felt like hay. And of course I deep conditioned after that too. And so then my hair looked orange and like hay, like like orange hay. It was awful. So what I'm trying to get at, and chelating shampoos are great for lots and lots of things. I'm not saying that they're not good and they don't have their purpose, but I really think when you're dealing with something like severe mineral deposits, I actually think you need to go a little bit heavier on the acids and neutralize and chelate with pure acid, which is why I would strongly recommend just going the DIY route. I mean, if you can go pick up something for $6, and I probably used way more of this than I needed to. I used pretty much the whole 16 ounces, but I didn't really care. Honestly though, you could probably, I would say I'm gonna do this about once a month just to keep my hair nice and bright. And um, I could probably split that bottle in half and get two treatments out of it. So that's totally worth the $6. So my suggestion is I wouldn't bother with this for mineral deposits. I would not waste my time or energy on this. This could be used for something else that you want a clarifying shampoo or a chelating shampoo to do for you, but not the mineral deposits. So the other thing I do want to actually caution people on is that um, lemon juice can also lighten brunettes. So it can lighten anybody. So just be aware that when you're using lemon juice to treat your hair, to watch it because it can lift a little on darker colored hair and um, obviously it can lighten on blondes too, but a lot of times that's actually what we're going for. Anyway, I hope that this was helpful for you because I don't care if you are somebody that has experienced this or if you are a stylist, you should definitely have this in your bag of tricks. I should have known, go get a lemon. I should have known that. I mean, I totally could have done that while I was on vacation and um, I, or, you know, tried to commandeer some <laughs> lemon juice, but I think that this would be important in our arsenal for mineral deposits. Lots of people live on a well and have iron in their water. So this could be a really, really great you could keep some of this in the salon. This is a great thing to do to your own hair if you are a blonde to keep it nice and bright and keep all of that ruddiness off of it. Anyway, I just think it's a really, really good uh, at-home treatment to have in your back pocket, whether you're a client or a stylist. And if you guys um, have any questions or comments or any kind of thing like that or suggestions, leave them down below and yeah, help each other out. I hope that you found this very helpful and I wish you bright and sunny hair days. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching.